Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Break. I feel like I haven't seen y'all in forever. What I missed, what, three sessions, I think? Yeah, I miss y'all. How you doing? So, everybody, welcome to Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha. I am your host, Tanisha Burke. Uh, welcome to my channel. This channel is all about entrepreneurship, specifically in the industry of network marketing. I am joined by my esteemed team members. We have Shamika checking in from Illinois. We have Amira checking in from Florida. And we have D Pryor is checking in from Georgia. And who else do we have? We have Hey Chrissy checking in from Mactown, Georgia. She said it's a wonderful 68 degrees. It is 79 degrees here in Florida, and it's supposed to go up to 86 today. So you know I'm super, super excited about that. We got Amazing K. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Let me send the link. So if anybody wants to join me in studio, I'm putting the link out there right now in the chat. So there you go, Amazing K. We got Wanda. Hey, Wanda, how are you? We got Barbara checking in from Connecticut. Thank you for joining. Uh, Wanda's checking in from Gainesville, Florida. Love it, love it. Hey, Robert. Robert's checking in from Brooklyn, New York, my home state. I love it, I love it. That was me posting how to get on. All right, all right. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for checking us out. I talk about all things uh, network marketing and being an entrepreneur, things that just affect us as business owners. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and supporting the channel. Please like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. So I'm going to do some celebrations. Let's start with our celebrations. So what have you done to move your business forward? And do you have anything that we can celebrate? We got amazing Absolutely. Cake. Um, I got some celebrations going on. Okay, what you got? What you got? Well, um, I launched my newest business partner this weekend. Yes. That's and, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Fantastic. And let me tell y'all, she did amazing inviting. She had five people on there. I nice. think I saw six as we was getting off. So it may have been six people that she had on there. She Good completed time. four three-way calls. What? That same day we got it done. Oh, she did that. Yes, she did do that. So we got some sign-up days going on. We got some referrals going on. And we got some travels clients going on. So she got she got all three of them. So wow. I'm just excited for her. And, you know, just really been working on building the relationships with, you know, the people that I'm introducing to the business and, you know, sponsoring, coaching, all of that good stuff. So I'm um I'm celebrating that, you know, just that is fantastic. Yes. That is fantastic. So the key, Shamika, is to schedule three more launches for her. You want to schedule four launches within the first 40 days. I mean, the first 30 days, one a week for their first four weeks in the business so that you build momentum. And so when her sign ups sign up, then you're going to schedule them four over the next 30 days. And then now your new business partner, she's going to be inviting to her existing launches that you have on your calendar and she'll be able to invite to her new business partners launches as well this is how we tap root and now you're going to build deep into that leg of business because you're just constantly adding people schedule for launches anybody who joins we got to schedule there for launches and everybody's going to join you know invite to theirs that's how you drive a leg deep does that make sense that makes perfect sense. I always wonder. I'm like, okay, they talking about tab room. Like, do I call these people? <laughs> like, <laughs> so it, it makes more sense now. <laughs> yeah, you want to keep working in that leg of business. As long as you got new people that are joining, 
you just you just keep going. You keep going. And so as a leader, your calendar just becomes full of business launches. And that's what you want. Full of business launches. And then everybody, let's say, you know, like you said, she had, you know, five people on and she got four three-way calls scheduled, right? Do those three-way calls via Zoom, right? Make it so that you, again, you can build a deeper relationship with those prospects. You can use, you know, images to drive home what you're trying to say. And then that, and then you're going to close them and then you're going to launch them. Right. And now you just, you're just, you just continue to, you know, at the end of those launches, we tell everybody you're either a three, you're not interested, a two, you got questions or one, you're ready to get started. Right. And I always tell my new business partners when I'm launching them that night, we need to collect everybody's decision. We ain't waiting until tomorrow. No, if they, if you don't hear from them within five minutes, of that business launch, then you need to be texting them. Hey, what's your number? Are you a one, two, or three? So then now that new business partner, they're either signing people up that night or they're getting a commitment date or they're booking you on a call to answer all their questions. And then everybody that's a number three, send them the link to your IntelliTravel site so they can book travel and support you that way. So if that that's the constant income producing activities. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Anybody else have anything that we can celebrate? What have you been doing? A, business. Go ahead. I have a couple of things. I have. I got a new business partner. Woo, um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Woo we love the new business partner. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then I have and this past week in I went to Chicago to connect with my business partners and she went to the meeting and I also have her confirmed to go to the the blackout that's in Chicago, which I'm gonna be attending there. And then my plan is also to come back to I'm gonna be in Atlanta, then I'm gonna go to Chicago to the one there. So excellent. Um, excellent. Okay, I see you crisscrossing the planet. Yes, Boss, yes, what's yes. Up? That's what's up. So Denise said, I participated in my first vendor event last Saturday, and I'm co-hosting a pop-up travel party on Saturday. You go, Denise. This this is how we work our business. That's what I'm talking about, right? You got to get your information. You got to get your business, whatever side, whatever it is, you got to get it in front of people and you got to leave your house. <laughs> so I love that. Make sure you have tons and tons of business cards with you, Denise. Um, I highly also recommend having some type of bowl where people can um, fill out their information so you can add them to your list. Um, I highly recommend doing some type of raffle, right? You could do some type of raffle. So the raffle is a great way to be able to connect people, um, to collect people's information, right? So they have to fill out something that has, you know, their name, their email, and their phone number so that you can um, enter them into the drawing. And then also now they're on your list of people that you reach out to. So good job, good job, good job. Hey, Connie. Connie's checking in from Arkansas. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Anybody else? What me, 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 me. Yes. Hey, amazing. <laughs> hey. How okay. are you, my dear? I'm wonderful, wonderful. I have been busy. So this is the the week that I'm, you know, been doing uh, Natalie, Director Natalie Graham's um, 25 calendar. And this is the week where you, the, the I Want You Back program. Mm -hmm. So it's been working. I've been calling my people on Credit Hole that canceled all of those people. And actually today, someone did just sign up, re-sign up. And yes, Congratulations on the reactivation. Yes, reactivation. That is fantastic. And she's coming in hot because when she, I don't even know why she left because she was always a travel booker but not so much as a, a business builder. But now, mm -hmm. since I talked to her about momentum and what that means, she's coming in hot. She's already booked a, a, a trip for next year, a cruise for next year, and she has three people that are signing up tonight. Woo! Tonight. 
That's what I'm talking about. And that's a, from a reactivation. A you reactivation. see what happens? This is why you don't want to forget about the people who joined and left. As a matter of fact, that's one of the things that I'm going to be working on. Um, my focus for the rest of the month and going into April is to go back to the people who joined with me like from day one who are no longer in the business and um, just just reconnect with them and see, you know, what's going on. Like a lot has happened in the last seven and a half years. Right. And maybe I can get some of them back. If not, my conscience is clear. If you want to miss the biggest opportunity of your life, it's going to be on you. But you'll never be able to say that you didn't have a second chance at it. Right. And I know you've been watching. I know you've been watching, right? So I love that. I love that. Congratulations, Kay. Who else has something we can celebrate, Miss Amira? Okay. So um, my husband came with me for a meeting. Um, what was it? Maybe a month ago. Mm -hmm. um, with uh, And it had Shedrick White and Orlando Moore were here. And he became a believer. So he signed up with me. He became my number four on the day that I got my Ooh. bronze pin. Now we got Team Pyramid we got Team in the building. In the building. And since then, we have signed two more or three more people. So I'm a Ooh, two more people, so we are officially silver builders. Silver builders are in the house. And Congratulations. Yes. I love, I, love I love the fan. I love the fan. I love the fan. And um, today we're signing up one more person. Our goal, we are, are expecting to be gold by Friday. Don't expect. Have, make it happen. The plan is we will be gold by Friday. That's what so I'm talking about. Speak that have, thing into We had a person who was supposed to sign up this morning, but her baby, she thinks she he has COVID. So we're going to go ahead and let her handle her doctor's things and stuff like that going on. But we still got the rest of the week. And we have That's a sign up right. coming on later today. And then by Friday, I have at least one confirmed sign up. So my expectation oh my. is to be gold by Friday. That's what I'm talking about. Working your business. You got to have the activity going so that these signups come. Right. People are not going to always sign up uh, the day that you expose them to the business. Remember, um, two out of every 100 people that you speak to will join the business right away. Two out of every 100 people, meaning you got them on a three way call, you're getting your questions answered and they're like, OK, I'm ready to go. I got my money. Two out of every 100. So those of you who think you're doing something, talking to three people a day, you're not doing nothing. It's going to take you a long, you're doing something, you're just doing it real slow. Not fast enough to see the results as fast as you would like them to. It's because you're not talking to enough people. Five out of every 100 people that you speak to regarding your network marketing business will never, ever join the business no matter what. You could become a multi-millionaire pushing a Maybach island hopping with your guest house in Fiji and they will still never join the business. Why? Because it's just not for them. And that's okay. Just book their travel or sell them your product, whatever it is, right? It's just not for them. So 93 out of 100 people need either more time or more information. 93 need either more time or more information. These are the people who right now they're like, oh, as soon as my tax refund comes in, I'll be ready. It's those people. Or it's the people that said, you know what? As soon as my kids get out of school, you know, because right now I'm shuffling them back and forth. As soon as school is out in June, I'll be ready. Right? Or it's like, oh, I got this big project going on at my job. I don't have, I can't focus on anything. Once this project is over, I'll be ready. Or it's, oh, you know what? I, I'm in real estate school and, 
right? You know, I've invested all this money. As soon as I pass the real estate exam, the real estate exam, I'll be ready. Oh, you know what? I went back to school. I'm getting my master's and my doctorates. I got my thesis. Da, da, da. As soon as I finish with school, I'll be ready. Oh, right now I'm moving and you already know there's a lot going on. As soon as I get moved and settled or whatever, I'll be ready. Or you expose them with a video, but maybe they need a webinar. Or maybe you expose them with the webinar, but ooh, they need that in-person meeting. It's always something. They either need another more information or things just need to, you know, things just need to settle down in their life before they make a move. So that's 93 out of every 100 who they're just going to be sitting in your funnel for a little while, your pipeline. They're going to be sitting in your pipeline waiting for the right time for them. And you could do everything right, but they still may not join your business until 2026. Not 2025. Some of them might not join until 2026. People that you expose in 2024 may not join your business until 2026. And that's great. We'll, we'll welcome them in 2026. This is why we always say you might forget the work, but the work won't forget you. Those conversations, that information you shared. And that's why I always say, when, when especially with our business, when people see it, they can't unsee it. It's always in the back of their mind. They just have to wait for the right time for them. So don't always think you're doing something wrong or because you see, you know, oh, Amira is going to have two or three signups this week. What is she doing? Now? And I'm, she's doing the work. She's doing the work. That's all. She's doing the work. Excellent. Excellent. Anybody else? What have you done? Go ahead. Miss Constance, CJ is in, you know, I get excited when you're here, right? <laughs> I get excited too, because I can't always be on. I know, that's why I get excited. <laughs> um, as far as my team, my team is growing nicely. Um, you know, they're, they're working and they're doing their businesses. I'm getting, um, I have another goal builder loading. Ooh. And so, yeah, so, um, Yep, she's working her business. She said she had to turn off her TV. I said, all right, girl. So That's she's what I'm in. talking about. Um, and you're talking about people that you've spoken to. Now, someone I spoke to when I first started way back when in the 1800s, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she actually came on. She was ready to start. She was going to get, she, I'm, I'm coachable, I'm coachable, I'm coachable. Then her mother got sick. So she had to take care of her mother. So this is going back to what you're talking about. They ready when, when, when this happens. Mm -hmm. So um, she was ready like five, six years into taking care of her mother. My joined in 2017. Right. Anyway, so then her mother started declining. So we just mm -hmm. like, that's my, she's my best friend. I've known her since Tina was 10. So that we go way back. Right. Um, so now I spoke to her, we was talking everything. I said, so, um, and I wanted to give her time because my mother just passed away four months ago. So she had been, you know, taking care of her the whole time for 13, 17 years, 15 years or something like that. So now she's ready to get started. I gave her, you know, we talk and everything like that. So I said, okay, are you, what do you, what, are you going to start your business? You know, I was like ginger about it because I know it's still kind of touchy with her. Yeah. So um, she came on to a blitz on Saturday. She came on yesterday because, you know, the blitz is just like the video. She came on, got more details and stuff like that. And I called, she said, girl, I'm ready. I'm all in. What? So we gave her. Mm -hmm. We gave her a day. She said, um, like towards the end of April, because she wanted to get her money together and stuff like that. But we're gonna keep in contact. I always keep in contact with her anyway. We're gonna keep it in front of her because Absolutely. she's so ready and she's like, you know, she's very like robust about doing it. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm glad you <clears throat> you mentioned that. Excuse me. <clears throat> you have to keep her engaged every mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. that the person doesn't join the business. 25% of their excitement goes away. 25% of their interest goes away. Mm -hmm. Every day that they don't join the business after they've been exposed, 25% of that excitement, enthusiasm, interest goes mm -hmm. away. So when yeah. you have someone who gives you a date, 
that's several days or a week or whatever away, mm -hmm. you have to keep them engaged as if they're in the business already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> some of the homework assignments that I give people, <clears throat> I'll say to them, okay, so you're going to get started. Let's say they're not going to get started until April 15th, right? Today is March 26th and they get, mm -hmm. let's say they're one of those teachers that only get paid twice a month, right? Or once a month. So they're not going to start until April 15th. Well, that's like three mm -hmm. weeks away. Mm -hmm. I want to keep this person engaged. Exactly. And so what I'm going to say to them initially is when you make this payment on April 15th, my goal is to help you make this $200 back within that next 30 days. Is that okay with you? And they're like, absolutely. Yes. I'm like, okay, so there's some things that you can do right now during this time before you get started that mm -hmm. will help us prepare for that. So I always say, you know, come up with a name for your travel agency business. Mm -hmm. All right. Once you get the name, go ahead and create that uh, email just for your travel business or whatever business you're in. Right. You should always have a separate mm -hmm. business email for mm -hmm. whatever business. Right. Then. I have them to start working on their list. Who do you know who could benefit from the business opportunity? And what's funny is she said, I already have some people in mind, you know, that I want to expose the people. To, so just write the names help, down so that you can get continue to answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, help them work the list. Um, on my YouTube channel, there's a training video called How to Become the Professional Inviter, How to Invite to Your Warm Market. And I give some great leads of how to work with your new business partner um, to come up with their list. And okay. so if I remember, I'm going to add it, add that video link um, down below in the comment, in the description. So that will mm -hmm. be a good one to do. Also use a memory jogger with your new business, with your pers prospective new business partner, right? Mm -hmm. Soon to be, right? Get them plugged into the IMV. Yeah, I got her plugged into the IMV and the prayer call. Yes. Also, get them to go ahead and get the book, Your First Year in Network Marketing. I told her that too. Start reading it, right? Mm -hmm. So these are all things that you can have her do now to get her kind of plugged into the culture so that mm -hmm. when she starts, boom, she, now she's running with it. So that's yeah, good. Yeah, because you right? saw my, I want, just, I want to take a marketing class. I said, you don't have to take a marketing class. Being in the business is a marketing class. <laughs> That is well, fact. <clears throat> Honestly, I've spoken to someone who told me they were going to school for business, mm -hmm. uh, business administration, and then they joined our business and they said they learned more in our business than they did paying for this degree in business administration. Mm -hmm. Yep. Facts. Uh, can we give Leanne a shout out? She said she hosted a travel party and she gained a new business partner. Leanne, congratulations on your new business partner. Yes, yes, for the new business partner. Congratulations, Leanne. Now make sure you get them onboarded correctly. Schedule four business launches for them over their next four weeks, right? You want you got momentum going. So now you got to keep it moving. You got to keep it moving. I love it. I love it. Ah, uh, she said this conversation is right on time. Good, good. I love that. I love that. Amira says she loves my fan. <laughs> I think everybody loves the fan. I, I stole the whole fan thing from my brother. Because he's always doing that with his fan. Yes. Jennifer, are you saying you got a new business partner? Did you get a new business partner too, Jen? Well, I'm going to assume that you did. Yes. Let, let, let's, wait a minute. Yes. Congratulations on your new business partner. We love the MTG. Boom. Yes. We love it. We love it. We love it. Let's keep moving it. We're in momentum. She said, yes, yeah, she got a new business part. Congrats, Jen. I am so proud of you. And I need to make it, if I'm not mistaken, I need to, Jen, are you in Carolina? 
I know I've been saying I need to get down to Carolina. I'm I'm working on that. I'm working on that. I'm definitely working on that. We do have a lot to celebrate. That's because I've been gone for so long. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that's what I thought, Jen. Yeah, uh, me and Director Camet are going to be making some plans to come down your way for sure. Hey, Missy. Missy, wait, didn't you just hit silver or gold? I can't, you just hit a rank promotion. I saw it, Missy. I saw it. Which one was it? 2020. What was it? For Missy? Don't let me pull up my. It sounds like oh, she said 2020. No, she did D. D I D. What? What? We have a new director in training. Yes, for the DIT. That's what I'm talking about. That is a big, big deal. That means she has a team of 50 people. And she is 50 away from securing that legacy for her family. So I love it. Congratulations, Missy. That's what's up. I love it. I love it. Anybody else? What have you done to move your business forward? What can we celebrate? I All have right. something else. Okay, now. Go yes, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. Okay, um, because I don't know if y'all know, we have to bid for our time off working for Department of Homeland Security. We have to bid for our time off. I'm not used to that. So this time, I put, <laughs> this time I put my bid in for the third Thursday. So that way I can get to the Raleigh meetings that's what and I'm talking about. We're going to put our bid in for time. So I'm working, I'm hoping that I can get Wednesday and Thursday or Thursday and Friday so I can hit all the Raleigh meetings. Excellent. So I get to Raleigh, get to the hotel on Wednesday and leave on Thursday or get there Thursday and leave on Friday. Get me a hotel room. I can have, I can just don't have to do that hour and a half drive at night. So yeah, that's that's what I'm planning. And then I'm hearing y'all come, you and Cameron coming to Carolina. Okay. Wait, 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 it's on. It's on the table. We just got to come up with okay. wh when we're coming. But yeah, I okay. will. I will get to Carolina this year. I will also be getting to Houston um, this year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. I have solidified. I've that solidified the airport conference room. Okay. Good. That's good. That's what's up. Okay. Nadine said, I am a bronze builder and one away from being silver and three away from gold. That's what I'm talking about, Nadine. Nadine, you need to finish that silver this month. I need you to finish silver this month and then to be um, gold before the end of April. Okay? Can you do that? Can, can, can you make that happen, Nadine? Nadine, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You got this. You got this. She going to finish it, y'all. She going to finish it. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Director Cage, how you doing? Let's go. She said, yes. That's what I'm talking about. She said, no excuses. Yes. Silver by the end of this month, gold by the end of April. You got this, Nadine. Then we're going to focus on 2020. 2020. All right. So, one of the things that's important to do in network marketing, oh, wait, look, look at Nadine showing out. She said, I'll be silver by Friday. That's what I'm talking about. Nadine, do that. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Look, and then you got a few more days. You might, you, you could push a hit goal by the end of the month. Right. The activity is there. You could do it depending on how many people you got in your pipeline, maybe a couple of reactivations or, you know, reaching out to a couple of people who maybe have canceled and be like, y'all, I don't want y'all to miss this. We in momentum. You ready to come back? Right. So I love that. I love that. So uh, we will be celebrating Miss Nadine next week as a silver builder and possibly gold. So, yes, let's keep that going. So one of the things that's super important, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'm not the best at this, what I'm about to say, because I'm not perfect. 
is creating the synergy within the team like doing some fun things. Like I have some of my directors who every year they put on a trip for their team. And I'm like, oh, I want to do that. I'm going to do that next year. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then I never follow through. And that's on me. And I want to do better with that. I want to do better with that. And so last week, which was the reason why we didn't have virtual coffee break, I was on the Margaritaville. It was called Parlay on Paradise. And so we got to experience that cruise brand. And it is nothing like what it was last year. Nothing at all. As a matter of fact, the same people don't even own it. They got new management, everything. So if you went on their inaugural sailing last year and had all these horrible things to say, it's done a 180. None of those people are even there anymore. So they have a new cruise ship coming out this summer called the Islander. And I have decided that I am going to put together a group cruise on the Margaritaville at Sea Islander for 2025. That's what I'm doing. For anybody who wants to sail with Tadisha, in 2025 of the Margaritaville. So that is what I'm going to work on. And I'm definitely looking to make this an annual cruise that I do with my organization. Um, and who knows, maybe, maybe it'll be opened up to people outside of my organization who just happen to follow me on YouTube and want to say, yeah, I want to go. But it'll be opened up to my squad first. They get first dibs. And then we'll see how it expands after that. So who would want to go and cruise with moi on the Islander in 2025? Who would actually say, yeah, I'm going, I'm in, I'm in on that. Okay, good, 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 good. I love it. I love it. Amira, you, I know, I already know you rolling, right? Nadine said me. Okay. Chrissy said me. Okay. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to I'm going to work on that over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be working with the BDM um to put something together for 25 to come up with some dates. It's probably going to be spring 2025. Probably going to be spring 2025. Um and let me ask you all this. Would you want to do a 4 day? or a four night or a two night, what would be your preference? <laughs> Amir said, I'm running in your car to the point. I got you. I got you. What would be your preference? Four? Okay. Four? Okay. So I'm making a note of that. Four night. And what types of what types of things would you want to do? Like, of course, we 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 gonna have a cocktail hour. Of course, right? We got we gonna have a sip and sail, um, the Margaritaville at sea. But what other things would you guys want to do, um, as a as a team to create some synergy? Okay, Amira. So come off mute. Tell me what she said. Can we play dress up? <laughs> Do you know how when we when you go on a cruise and they have like the captain's ball and stuff and like I would that would be so much first of all I love getting dressed up. So it would be so much fun for like the women and the guys to you know have have on their you know nice stuff for the evening or whatever and we just like dress up and have a good time. I love doing that. I think it would be so much fun. Even even if we choose a theme, even if, I mean a color like, choose a color. Yeah. Color, yeah. right you know white is kind of common or whatever but whatever we choose i think we can all have like that whole unity and you know like this color with a splash of whatever you're feeling or whatever i, think I like that, that. Would be super dope i think that okay would be yeah i definitely like the the color theme more so than a dress-up theme only because margaritaville is known for that's it's the relax 
right? It's Jimmy okay. Buffett Margaritaville. So there's no, oh, you got to dress up to go to dinner. No, it's it's casual. So I love the same color thing. So I'm going to write that down. What other things would you want to do as a team to help create this energy? Maybe have like some trivia. Like a trivia night? About each other or something. Have some. <coughs> some team building exercises or events. Yeah, but I want to know specifically. Okay, you, you down with coffee break. So everybody on coffee break, whether you're on my team or not, will be invited. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate your support um, with, you know, my channel and the content. Absolutely. You, you, you're like my adopted <laughs> team member. <laughs> so absolutely. Everybody on coffee break um, will be invited. Everybody who supports virtual coffee break will be invited to get onto the cruise for 2025 with us because I, I do appreciate it. Okay, so Jennifer said karaoke. They do have karaoke already on there. So yeah, so we could absolutely take over the karaoke. So that's a good one. I love that. I love that. All right, so let me see. So Mithy said, I actually have a group senior cruise coming up and we chose to wear all black for the captain's ball. And I made shirts for us for our onboarding pick. So that would be, okay, I like that. So you saying get some shirts made. I think that would be definitely cute to get some shirts made. Okay. And I know just who to reach out to to get those shirts made. I like that. I like that. That's a good one. Thank you, Missy. Anything else that you guys would want to do? Do what kind of off? Um, do they have anything that's offshore? Like any anything like? Yeah, so they have different. Um, so the the par the Islander ship is still at dry dock, being renovated. When I say they gutted everything down to the concrete. So wow. every single thing in it is going to be new. Um, they have at least half of the cabins are balconies, which is awesome. That's cool. Yes. So half, half of the cabinies, uh, cabins are, bal are balconies. And some of the, I'm trying to remember some of the itineraries that they had plans. Uh, I saw, I think, Ocho Rios, they're going down to the Keys, um, someplace in Mexico. Um, I think Belize was on the list. So they're going to have different places that it goes to. So I'm going to look for the four nighter and see mm -hmm. what destinations um, they go to for the four nighters that will coincide with around the time that we want to do it. Because I think I definitely want to do it around this time of the year. Somewhere between May and April. I don't know. Maybe I can coordinate it with my birthday, which is on the 29th of April. So maybe it'll be like the birthday cruise too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But if, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for, do you guys think that the March, April time frame is a good time? My question is, do they have like... Um uh cultural things like maybe uh we can do like a um cuisine like a, a, a either a where we can learn about the the culture and maybe do food. A cuisine, yeah food around foods maybe cook you know they can teach us something okay. that is um to the culture and we can learn about a certain meal and cook it together okay we could look at that mm -hmm. i'll definitely write that definitely the spa day we taking over the spa yeah I must have my hot oh, stove yeah. massage. So yes, we definitely yeah. need to have a spa day. I thought I love that. like a talent show. Oh, so would that coincide with the karaoke? Karaoke? I mean, it could be, but everybody don't know how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep that in mind, Missy. Thank you. Okay, Leanne said April or May. 
Okay. Both of those months are good. Okay. Yeah, the end of April, that's that would be, I would definitely push for the end of April if I do April cuz that is yeah, most people have spring break. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> you got DMX. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this and we're going to continue to like plan it. Um, my vision is one day to be able to take over the entire ship. That's what I had in my head. That's exactly for everybody to be just for the, the ships aren't that big, right? They're nice size. Um, the Islander, um, I believe, was it's a little over a thousand. I'd have to pull up all of their stuff. I can't remember. I had the um, oh, yeah, I got the stuff right here. That could be like right. the third year you do it to have a full ship. Okay, so the passenger capacity is 2,650. They have 1,105 staterooms and suites. All right. And okay, so let's see. I want to see if they showed on here. Okay, so it's going to be sailing out of Tampa, going to Key West and Mexico for 2024. So, and then some other places that they have on here. So, Key West, Florida, Cozumel, Mexico, Belize, I love Belize, Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Progreso, Mexico, Costa Maya, Mexico, and the Grand Cayman, Cayman Islands. So these are all itineraries that they're looking to go to, but I think they're starting off with Key West in Mexico. So they do have a casino. They have a theater. They have a, a, a kid zone, like a kid's club thing. So if people want to bring their kids, you can do that too and put your kids in the kids activities. A ton of bars and lounges and grills and it's it's awesome. It's awesome. So I went, I had a great time on the paradise. Um, the customer service was awesome, the food was awesome, the entertainment was awesome. I was just very, very impressed. Um, so I'm definitely um looking forward to pushing that brand. So Chrissy said, it doesn't matter to me, I'll be an empty nester. I know that's right. No, that's right, Chrissy. She's like, I don't have to take anybody into consideration. I get to do what I want to do. I love it. I love it. Zara said, hello, everyone. I would love to go with you, but I have a trip already planned for Bali on May 1st. Oh, well, I would like to go to Bali. <laughs> so the reason I'm picking to do a cruise as opposed to a land trip is because there's something for everybody to do. When you do those land trips, you got to really plan activities and stuff like that. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Maybe if I can get a virtual assistant who also doubles as a event planner, uh, we'll do a land trip. But for right now, I think the cruise is perfect because there's a little something for everyone. Connie Evans, she said, I'm two months into the business and I have booked my first group cruise for April 19, 2025 on the Carnival Valor, celebrating my 30th wedding anniversary. And she said, I've called the cruise, the Evans family and friends cruise. I'm just super excited. And I just want it to share. Can we give her a congratulations, Connie? Only two months into the business and you got your first group cruise. That's what I'm talking about. So Connie, how many cabins have you booked so far? for that group. Cause that, when you talk about a group cruise, that's a cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. 
I love that. Congratulations. That is a big deal. So I'm super excited that all of you want to cruise with me. I really am. That makes me super, super excited. Um, Can I share a quick testimony? Um, absolutely. What I can congratulate me on is I'll be getting my passport next month. So finally, all my names match up on all my legal documents. <laughs> yes. I'm getting it expedited and everything. I got the appointment set, so I'll have my passport. So I'm going to be internationally known. I know that's right. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. I love it. I love it. That is awesome. And then you got to get Tariq his passport. Yeah, I, I plan on getting it, uh, all, all the kids. kids. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is awesome. Because you can't have a, be a travel advisor and not have a passport. We got to make that happen, right? Got to. Got to. Connie says she has eight cabins booked so far. That is fantastic, Connie. Once you get all your family involved, guess what? Open it up to like your social media and you might be able to fill even more cabins. That is awesome. Congratulations. Can I say something to that? Absolutely. Those, those eight cabins, I did a church cruise, right? We have eight cabins, Connie listed now. Now, if you add more people to it, that's that checks for at least $2,100 right there. There you right go. Now. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice to have? Yeah, do 16 cabins, Connie, so you can get that. That you're gonna get a check with a comma in it anyway. So and that's after until a child gets their 30%. Right. And uh get to gold, right? Get some of them overrides coming in from the people that you're bringing in. So that is awesome. I love it. I love it. I'm excited. I am super, super excited. Okay, well, let's see what Wanda Wanda got a message for. She says, I have my appointment for passport. I love it. And you're getting it expedited to uh, let, let me give my congratulations for y'all getting y'all passport. Y'all are bossing up in 2024. That's that's what I'm talking. Y'all bossing up. I'm so proud of y'all. That's what a, another level, right? We taking this thing to another level. I don't want to leave anybody, but if you ain't got your passport, okay. So I got one more thing to say. I got one more thing to say, y'all about uh, bossing up in the travel industry, you got to have global entry. I'm telling you, if you plan on doing your international travel, you need global entry to make it through the customs so you ain't waiting. And can I tell you, I felt like the queen coming off of the paradise. I did. So let me tell y'all a quick story. I got a couple of minutes. So when we were getting off the ship, right, or getting ready to get off the ship, and we got off the elevator, and the uh, the Margaritaville employee guy had this area blocked off. He wouldn't let us go through, right? He was holding us back. And so there was this long line that had developed for people to get through this area that he was going to be opening up at some point. Tanisha wasn't trying. I wasn't trying to get in the line. I, so I just stood there and this lady, she got all snippy, right? And she's like, uh, excuse me, the line is back there. <laughs> she said that to, to this girl that was standing in front of me. And the girl was like, oh, I'm waiting for someone. <laughs> like, I'm not getting in line. I'm waiting for someone. Me, my thing was, are you really thinking that a couple hundred people are going to get in line? He's not going to let people through one at a time. He's just going to move the rope and everybody's going to get to go. So I'm standing right here. Oh, she was so snippy and going out. And, ah, people need, you know, you know how people start talking out loud, showing a asset, mm -hmm. right? That was her. So he finally moves the rope. And actually there was another line that started to form on the other side, but it didn't matter because he moved the rope and everybody got to go. No big deal. So we all moving and she's still at the mouth, running off at the mouth, right? And then as we're waiting in line to go off and go into the customs, the employee says, do we have any VIPs? So they have a special thing called VIP 
And then someone said, global entry? Like, yes. So we all walked past her. And she was hot. Waiting for valet to bring my car. She just coming out and still. But see, when you nasty, karma is something. Karma is something. So just always be nice, be pleasant. But that was my little story for why you need to have global entry so that you don't have to wait in those long lines when you're going through customs. They just kind of expedite you through and you just feel like a VIP. I love yeah. it. I love it. Uh, okay. So who wanted to say something? Was it you, Constance or Amira? Who has something to say? Oh, no. D. Pryor. What were you going to say? Something about the global entry? Yeah, I was going to say that I have it. I have it. That's <laughs> I gotta have it. global entry. If you don't have global entry, don't expect me to wait for you do customs. I'll leave my mama, but see, my mama's smart. She got global entry. But I'm just saying, I'm a, you're gonna get left. <laughs> you got to have global entry. All right. So that is going to be our virtual coffee break for today. Um, thank you for your feedback on the crew. Oh, we got 10 minutes, nine minutes. What are we going to call the name of this cruise? I'm going to let my people who support Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha come up with the name of our cruise. What do y'all want it to be? I'm open for suggestions. I'm going to write them down too. No names? Where are my creative people at? It's gonna say what? Team Lux Platinum Cru um, Platinum Cruise or something? See, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> when you first mentioned, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't know if she's gonna do that because it's, you know, because then some people that's not on, you know, some people from the um YouTube and stuff may want to come on and go, but that's you know, right. that's support. That's why I didn't think that's why I said that. Yeah, I'm not gonna call it the Team Lux. Nah, I'm not gonna do that because mm -hmm. I, I agree. We have other people who may want to join. Um, it's just that my team will have first dibs, depending on how many cabins I can get, which, like I said, who knows? Wouldn't it be something at the very first cruise we take over the entire ship? Platinum cruise? Yeah, that would be. <laughs> right? That'd be dope. Let's see. Amira said, Burke's boss's annual cruise. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. I'm going to write it down. I actually like that. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking about something with your name on it since it's your ideal and your, you know, everybody that's going is attached to you in some right? kind of Even way. Even if it is just them supporting me, right? Yeah, yeah. They're still attached, like you, right? And We're not financially gender neutral. neutral. And it's gender neutral in case, you know, mm -hmm. we got the male bosses and the women bosses. Right. So it's everybody's included in the boss category. Right. And we're making moves like bosses. And we're all bosses of our own business. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking that even the people that's on like YouTube that support your channel, mm -hmm. they're bosses as well. Because mm -hmm. most of the people that's on here are entrepreneurs anyway. They're not just, okay. you know, with the company and stuff like that. So, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Platinum Boss Crew. The Platinum Boss Crew. I like that. I like that. And our shirts could be platinum. Ooh. Right? right. Queen. <laughs> that would show up really nice in pictures, like platinum and black. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. All right, we got another. Connie said, no. Shamika, entrepreneurs take over the seas. I like that. <laughs> I like that one, too. Take over the seas. I like that. Connie said, ITA unlimited cruise. Okay, that's different. Well, the only problem with that one, Connie, is if it's opened up to YouTube, people won't know what ITA is. Like, what if what, there's some people who are in Mary, Mary Kay that are following the channel and they want to come? 
Right. Right. Okay. So yeah, I'll yeah, I like flattening names. Yeah, I like flattening voices. I like that. Yeah, that one has a nice ring to it. Yeah. I'm kind of leaning flattened. towards that one because it's very mm -hmm. gender neutral. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we could do a lot with that. Yeah, and with the fly t-shirts, yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool if we could find some platinum t-shirts and then do black writing. If not, we could do black t-shirts with platinum writing. That would be cute. Okay. All right. I think I have what I need. I'm going to I'm gonna lean more towards April, I think, more so than May. Um, and I will look for a four-nighter. Uh, when, is, when is Easter next year, y'all? When is Easter next year? Uh, let's this year's see. early. It's the end of this, you know, it's this weekend. Let's see. When is Easter? It's on the um, 20th for 2025. It's on the 20th? Uh huh. Okay. So at least we know that's, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't suggest I wouldn't suggest Easter though. Mm -mm, no. Uh -uh. That's why I wanted to find out what it was mm -hmm. so we can make sure we yeah. don't. Yeah. It's probably gonna be either uh, I'm either gonna look to okay. do it the last week of April. I think would be a good week to do it. Yeah, yeah. Then I can go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to I put my time, I put my days into that one. <laughs> If I look, if I'm unless I donate my job back to the community, mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now that's possible. <laughs> that's the plan. That's the plan. Three years. Oh, yeah. Connie said April twentieth. She said the day after her anniversary. It's probably. I, I'm, I'm going to lean towards. I mean, I have to see what itineraries they have for 2025. Yeah, so it has to be based on when they're already sailing. But I'm going to push probably either towards the very end of April or the very beginning of April. It'll probably be one or, one or two of those. So I'm excited to put this together. Like I said, I want to become a better leader by creating opportunities um, to create that synergy with, um, you know, not just with my team, but with my community, my community as a whole. Um, because honestly, this is about network marketing is about building relationships. And, you know, just like when you work in customer service, they always say you have your internal customers as well as your external customers. And so I really look at everyone who supports my channel as part of my community. You're part of my community, whether you're financially connected to me or not. And even as a leader in the industry of network marketing, you guys already know I support and will help anybody, whether they're financially connected to me or not. So it just makes sense for me to put something together where it is open to my community as a whole. And whoever is meant to be with us will be with us. Plain and simple. So I just want to thank each and every one of you um, for your support. You, you, got, you all have no idea what you do for me as a person and helping me develop as a leader, as a trainer. I appreciate all of you so, 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 so much. I, I didn't even know who was going to show up because a lot of times, you know, when you, if you have a, a week of not doing something, Right. People forget and they move on to something else. And it just it warms my heart that even after not being here for a week, all of you still came back. I don't take that lightly. And I just appreciate and love you all so, so much. I know. Cue the onions. I know. Right. You look, y'all got me. Good thing I'm not wearing contacts anymore because then I'd have to throw them away because they get dry once you cry. All right. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to work on this cruise for our community. I thank y'all. Um, it's towards the end of the month. So, you know, what's coming up on the 28th. Right. So I need everybody to reach out to their people. Go back and, and uh, reconnect with those people who have quit your business. OK. 
and tell them to come back. I don't care what industry you're in because times are hard right now. And so some of those people who you may have reached out to when you first joined or started your network marketing business, um, you know, they may be ready to come back. You're welcome, Zara. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy. I don't want to get rid of y'all. Y'all are my family. I love y'all. I do. I do. So y'all like this video, comment, make sure you subscribe. And hopefully either this week or next week, I'll have some more information about our um, Platinum Boss Cruises. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great day. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.